Hi there! Welcome to Miss B's Math Academy. I'm Nina Benazar and I am the creator and founder of Miss B's Math Academy. I'm also a certified 6 or 12 math instructor. In this video, we're going to learn about multiplying a monomial by a polynomial. Now let's look at this example. And again, we're going to keep in mind that we have the product rule of exponents that says we, when we have same bases, same variables, we copy the base and we add the exponents. So, when we multiply the terms, coefficients, so the number in front of the variable, coefficients are multiplied and the exponents of the variables are added. So I'm going to do this step by step for you, okay? So we have x squared times x. The coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is 1. There is an invisible 1 in front of it, right? So we will do 1 times 1. And then we have the x squared again times the x. So I'm going to rewrite it this way for you. Now we're going to multiply the coefficients together. So 1 times 1. And then I'm going to copy the base because it's the same, the variable x. And we're going to add the exponent 2 plus 1 because the x to the first power has an invisible 1, okay? So 2 plus 1. So we have that x squared times x is going to equal to 1x to the third power, which is the same as saying just x to the third power. Perfect. Now let's look at the second example. Again, we start with the coefficient. So we have negative 2 and 4 are the coefficients. So I'm going to multiply negative 2 times 4. And then I'm going to do the bases, right, x, the variables, x, and I'm going to add the exponents, 2 plus 2. So we get the negative 2x squared times x to the four, um, times 4x squared is going to be negative 8x to the 4th power. Perfect. So now we're going to talk about multiplying a monomial by a polynomial. So one term by a multiple terms. In order to multiply a monomial by a polynomial, we will need to first distribute property. We're going to pay close attention to the signs as we distribute, and we're going to apply the rule, uh, product rule of exponents. Remember, when we have variables with the same basis, same variables, you're going to add the exponents. Then we're going to combine like terms, if there are any like terms to combine, and then we're going to write the answer in standard form. So when we look at this example here, we got 3x, okay? So the 3x is going to... Um, multiply right here so 3 times 2 is 6 x times x is x squared that's where you get this number right here okay then you have the 3 times the 4 and 3 times 4 is 12 x times no x is just x and then we bring down the negative 2 x okay now we're ready to combine like terms the green ones circles are like terms so we got 6x squared plus 10x that's my simplify answer. Okay, so we have negative 3x is going to multiply this trinomial and then add 5x at the end. So let's see what that looks like. We got negative 3x times 2x squared and that's going to be negative 3 times 2 for the coefficients. x, remember, has an invisible 1, so 1 plus 2. Then we have negative 3 times negative 6. And then you have the x. 1 plus 1, right, because there's an invisible 1 on each one. Then we have the negative 3 times 1, x to the first power, plus 0, because there is no x on the other term. And then we have plus 5x at the end. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify that. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. x to the third power, we add the exponents. Negative 3 times negative 6 is going to be positive 18x. We add the exponents, so x squared. Negative 3 times 1 is going to be negative 3. And then x, we add the 1 plus the 0, so it's just 1. And then we have the 5x. Now we're going to combine like terms. We can see we have negative 3x and positive 5x that can be combined. So we have negative 6x to the third power plus 18x squared plus 2x as my simplify answer. Great. So go ahead and pause this video and attempt these questions by yourself. So the first one should be 6b to the third power plus 10b minus 1. Simple. Nice. All right, next one. We have negative 3x that multiplies outside the parentheses. So I'm going to do negative 3 times negative 4. So that's positive 12x to the fourth power. Then we multiply the next one. You get positive 6x squared plus x squared. There are two terms here to combine. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and combine them and we get 12x to the fourth power plus 7x squared. Perfect. All right, so now we have a multiplying a monomial by a polynomial, but this monomial has two variables outside. Remember, a monomial is a one term, so this is still a monomial right here, okay? It has two variables, so let's see what that looks like. So we have x squared y times 2x squared. So in this one, we're still multiplying the coefficient by the coefficient, so we have an invisible one, so one times two are the coefficient. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but with every variable. So x to the second power times x to the second power is gonna be x, two plus two, we add the exponent. And then the y has an invisible one, so y to the first power, and there's no y on the other one, so plus zero. Then we move on to the next one, we have one times one for the next coefficient. And then you have the x to the second power plus nothing, right, because there's no other x in the second term. And then y to the first power plus another first power. And now we go to the next one. One times negative three is going to be negative three, obviously. X squared, so two plus zero, because there is no other x. And y, one plus zero, because there is no other y. Okay? Keep in mind that we really don't put the ones in it. Understand, and I don't know if I was clear on this before, but understand that if the variable doesn't have anything, that means it has an invisible one in it. Okay, and then when there is no variable, that's when I put the zero on it, the plus zero, okay? So now we have one times two, and that's gonna be two. X to the fourth power, Y to the first power, but again, we don't write the first power, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Plus, one times one is one. X square, Y square. And again, technically, we don't write the one coefficient. I wrote it for this example for you now, but, um, Please don't do it on the computer or on Excel because you may mark it wrong. Then the next term is one times negative three, which is negative three, x squared, y to the first power. Okay. So I'm gonna rewrite this in the correct format. So we have two x to the fourth power y plus x squared y squared minus three x squared y. That will be my simplified answer. Okay. This is your last example, your term practice. So go ahead and pause this video and attempt this question by yourself. All right, perfect. So hopefully you did pause the video. I'm just gonna show you the, the answers for this one. Check your work. So that's the answer for the first one. And notice the second one, I rewrote it to show the standard form in degree order, okay? So that's all it is. Thanks for watching Miss B's Math Academy, and I'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to learn math is by trying on your own. So practice, practice, practice. See you later.